Hey guys, DJ here with another tutorial on Feed the Beast, and this one here is for the composters and sewers in order to, uh, and utilizing them in order to create an automatic industrial fertilizer producer. That is for, um, must be up to part four, I think. <laughs> yes, I think it's about part four um, for, of our system we've got going on here. And the whole plan will be to set it up so that our fertilizer is actually going to be pumped in with well, fertilizer. Uh, in this case, it's going to be industrial. So we're going to start with our sewer. Now you can find the recipe on NEI as per usual. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the center of the paddock we're going to be using. Um, these will not act, these will actually stop working if you try to like double up. So if you try to put say one here and then another one here, they will work because currently they're at like a, the radius of one. Uh, without any upgrades, but if you put two upgrades in both of them and they overlap and they'll both stop working It's just kind of how they work Unfortunately, all right. No cow don't go in my hole Okay, so I'm just going to put a fertilizer. I mean a sewer here And we're going to give it a nice big platinum upgrade So as you can see it'll actually fill up with sewerage really fast um, Because I've got heaps of cows going on here but the whole thing is that it's to do with the um, the amount of animals in the area and the size of the animals. So these animals are massive. Cows are practically the biggest ones, so it filled up really fast. But you know things like chickens um, are going to be a lot smaller. So you can just put this in the paddock or uh, whatever kind of paddock you're using to keep your animals in already. And so underneath there, I have I've actually I'm pumping it. Um, I'm pumping all the sewage straight out and over to here. Um, just a single um, fluid duct system going on there. So we're going to pump in the composter, which I'm going to put. I'll put the composter um, here. And again, you need a power source. So I'm just going to use a creative energy cell. Obviously, you want to be using some kind of RF or uh, IC2 power or MJ or anything like that. I'd recommend RF. And I've got a tutorial on that, obviously, again. So we'll connect the fluid duct to that. And then immediately we'll start. I'm not going to put that there. Actually, I'm going to put it on over here, out of the way. So immediately we'll start. It's going to start pumping out. All right, we'll put them straight into this chest. It's going to try to start pumping out. So I'm just going to there you go. It'll, it'll start pumping out on the top if you don't have anything else. Otherwise, if you have something set up, it'll start pumping out into your pipes. And that's pretty much it. So a uh, quick sum up: the sewer. It'll produce, and I'm not quite sure if this is going to produce sludge or not, but we'll deal with that when it comes. I don't think it is going to. Um, I have no idea what that one's for, actually. It's, I haven't seen on a lot of other um, people's ones, so it might be just a new thing. But so, yep, the, uh, the upgrades increase the range, and then it generates sewage based on the amount of animals and the size of the animals. So we've got big animals and heaps of animals, um, which don't like being caged, apparently. So, it's producing lots of sewage, um, and then obviously it's getting pumped really fast into the composter, which is actually full of sewage right now because of how fast it's going. So I could actually, um, and I might, I can, do, I can, you can mass produce these. So fluid duct, let's put, um, let's put four fluid ducts there, and we'll put four composters, and there we go. And then instead of having that on the side, we can put them on the top. So I'll just get, I'll put a piece there like that. You know the way you should be cow. Oh, I critted it. Oops. Poor cow. So if I power up like that, get rid of those. And now we have um, four systems going on. And I'm just, if I just connect up them like that, and immediately we have a massive uh, system for producing industrial fertilizer. Now you could use this for your store or you could use this so it's actually going straight in the fertilizer because it's, the fertilizer is currently well, it's actually full at the moment because of everything else. So in the next video uh, we'll be looking at the sludge the sludge boiler, that one there, um, and how we can get our harvester reworking again because it's not working because of the, there's too much sludge so it's stopped producing for now. And I can just quickly show you that I'm using a sprinkler here to, um, just because I thought I'd test it out. So the sprinkler's hooked up to an aqueous accumulator, which I have a video on, and a little bit of a tank there. 
Uh, and the sprinkler literally just does the same kind of thing as the fertilizer does, just increases the speed of how fast things will grow. So I just did that one there. Right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one for the Sludge Boiler to wrap up this series.